my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? I am in such ecstatic spirits. My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome to positivity and fabulosity. When I tell you I am living and loving because we're doing all of these live workouts with Fumi Nation. And girls, you are the best thing ever. You don't even know. Why? Because now I am really working out because we get into the key key and we are living and loving do not forget to join become a member that's all i'm going to say because we work out but when i tell you that we talk about all kinds of things it's therapy upon itself then i come back i have my bath and i get dressed talking about getting dressed this is an oldie from zara loops Ding, 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 ding. and i live and love it finally fits there was a time when it didn't and then here i am wearing like a snazzy belt and then it's got like you know the slits showing the leg adrian's mom can you believe it yes baby i live and i love all right we have a meet and greet well we have a couple of meets and greets we're really talking about <laughs> listen up we have a meet and greet in New York. It's going to be fabulous. And what I'm so excited about is that we finally have a venue. We are just tying up a couple of loose ends. But when I tell you, we have the top floor, we have the bottom floor, we have a waiting area for the VIPs, we have a space for the vendors. Vendors, come on through. Now you can come. I was looking for the space and I was looking for space for fumination. Girl, when I tell you I have finally found it, you're going to live and love. It's going to be the Fumination Playground. On that day, ah, exquisite, darling, exquisite. You can get in touch with Martin Sabali Global Travel. He's the one that found us our space. He's the one that's booking our hotels. He's the one that's taking care of all of our travel. The Sabali group is fantastic. You call him up, he will book everything for you. Just let him know Fumination and the rest is Kesara Sera. He found this phenomenal space and I am so, so, so excited. Just give us a few days just to, to tie up a few loose ends because I'm asking and requesting for some stuff. But yeah, my heart is set on it and you're going to live and love. I have my consultation. I'm going to put it all here. You need to talk to me. Let us talk, sis. You want to post and send me something in the mail about your business, about your brand. These are the two. We've got the Europe and we also have the Americas. And then without a skip and a beat, we're going to have a meet and greet Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> At Christmas time. Make on a get radio. Make on a get ready because we are coming to giddy it's going to be fabulous i'm coming home at christmas time so get ready we are going to have a lagos meet and greet i thought you know what why not announce it yeah we're going all over the world i will go i will come home i will go i will come home where is home the home is all over i am a citizen of the world i was born in moscow i was raised in scotland glasgow as well as lagos nigeria i went to holy child college i went to the american university University here in London. I will never forget my first model agency, Thompson Models, my mother agency out in New York. That was how I got my citizenship. And then I went out to California where I was acting. I got married. I lived in Norway. We came back to England and here we are. So I'm a citizen of the world. Home is everywhere where I find love and receive love. Thank you very much, my darlings. So why are we here? Jennifer Lopez has cancelled her tour. She has cancelled This Is Me Now tour. And she's cancelled it because she wants to stay at home, focus on her marriage and her children. She feels that it's important for her to do what's important. And um, while there are rumors swarming about her marriage and her career, I want to salute Jennifer for being in this cutthroat industry for 30 years plus. I lived in California for 10 solid years. So, you know, news gets around. And Jennifer had the reputation, I don't know about now, but she did then, as the hardest working entertainer across the board. Jennifer Lopez was that. You have that teacher who will give an A 
to that student who might not have been the best, but was the hardest working in class. That student worked, that student showed up, up early, left late, and did the best that they could. A for effort. That's Jennifer Lopez. So I'm going to give her her flowers. It's very important to give somebody's flowers first. I think that she's beautiful. I think that she has one of the most fabulous figures ever. Beautiful, voluptuous. Jennifer Lopez does not look good skinny. Jennifer Lopez really brought that era of um, baby got body. Baby got booty, baby got hips, baby had glow, the J-Lo glow. To multitask as a mother and working and trying to hold on to your relationship is a challenge every day because it's a balancing act. And you have to say to yourself what's important right now and what's not. They're forever calling me when I'm talking to you guys, but they'll just have to wait. I want to give J-Lo her flowers because I want her to really understand that all of this is coming from a very very healthy and good place phenomenal when it comes to style jennifer lopez on the red carpet nine out of ten fabulous she's the one that you wait for on the red carpet you want to see what she's wearing on the red carpet she's amazing and she's entertaining you say oh she can't sing act dance well, I will say this, when it comes to fitness, Jennifer Lopez is there. When it comes to fashion, Jennifer Lopez is there. Jennifer Lopez has attributes of which they should be echoed. No, darling. No, 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 not today. Now, ever since she got back with Bane, it has been downhill. I have noticed it in her looks. In her style, in her aura, in her energy, in her music, documentary, film, it has been downhill. Because we're in the digital age, we also have so many people that have come out to say that she didn't sing. They brought her voice down and they brought up the background singers. We have people that have complained that she's rude, that we have had people complain how she was on set. I met Jennifer Lopez on set. I met Jennifer Lopez when she was dating Diddy and nobody knew that she was dating Diddy. Remember, this was not the digital age. It was the 90s and she was amazing and we took pictures and I was in California, I think, for like a week before I flew back and we were on set every day and she was amazing. Again, that was then. I don't know about now. I feel that the documentary and the film and the album was a big no, Jennifer. And you shot yourself in the foot because you were offered or you were in talks to have a residency in Las Vegas for a million dollars a night. You're a Leo, so I can understand the confidence and I can understand how you might have in your head believed that this was great, but it wasn't. And if you believe that this was great, I have to wonder the kind of team around you. I know you've been with Benny Medina for years. I know Benny Medina is the godfather to the twins. But maybe you have to regroup. Sit back and have a real stern meeting with yourself and say, what is working and what is not working? Ben doesn't care for the press. It's evident. And in your documentary, you, he had made the comment and said, well, you know, it's like talking to a ship captain and saying, I don't like water. I don't know how either one of you didn't catch that. In the sense that these are my stripes and they will not change. These are my spots and they will not change. Not because I, I'm not willing to, and I think Ben was willing to. It's because... The true person that you are will always come to the surface eventually. If indeed you are having problems in your marriage, I truly believe that these are problems that you had 20 years ago. And it hasn't changed. And I think that you wanted so much to prove to the world that this marriage and this relationship came back eventually. And it really would have been a wonderful love story 
if it was a love story that sacrificed for each other but it's not sustainable you have this wonderful alcohol one percent drink thingy which is which you had before you met Ben which was in the works before you met Ben but Ben struggles with with the booze he does he struggles with the limelight of which you come alive in the limelight I don't blame you the same thing here you know I come alive in the limelight I live for it Ula is like insecticide he wants to stay as far away from it as possible have a reality check with yourself because you're making mistakes that is evident to everybody else and yet we are not in your inside circle that's what's so bizarre it's so obvious to us and yet you missed it because you would have been advised by me jennifer bring out a fashion line forget that documentary sis the mere fact that you had to self-fund had to be a red flag. You self-funded, you put it out there. Nobody liked it. Then you did the world, the, the, uh, the uh, this is me now. You had to change it to the greatest hits. Your tickets are $10 online. Jennifer Lopez can't sell the tickets and here's Fumination. The tickets are being sold out. I even told from nation, Jello, come over here. They said, uh, 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 not with that energy. And I don't blame them. I think that also it could be just that one year of 30 years of giving it to us, of 30 years of success. Consistently, you are allowed to have that one year off. Why not? Nobody is perfect. Not even you, Jennifer. Not even I. It wasn't a good idea. So you have to know who is around you, who is surrounding you, and who is giving you advice, because the advice is not great. Now where you could have just not done the documentary, not done the album, not done the film, you would have saved yourself some coin, and you would have even made more coin with the residency. Do you see what I'm saying? And you don't have to come onto the red carpet and kiss Ben or Ben has to kiss you or you have to show that you're in love. The love that you have for each other really is truly for you. There are two things about the public. A, we don't care. B, we have our own issues. Three, we have a very short attention span. So the thing is that all this effort is in vain and I think it's wearing on you. As far as I'm concerned, I think you did the best thing to cancel it. On the contrary, I don't know why. You should have just done one night only. One night only in New York, everybody would have shown up. Or it would have looked like everybody showed up. Just ask Ben. Tell him, I want to borrow the extras from your film. Let them come. Let them sit in the audience. Do a giveaway. That is also fabulous. You could have done one night only for my fans. Don't pay anything really don't pay anything and then go and do your residency because everybody would have shown up everybody likes something for free discount code fumi nation <laughs> i am not kidding discount code fumi and i would have been there because this is the age of influencers and jennifer you are the greatest influencer of them all because you hawk your drinks you hawk the exercise the lingerie you're hawking everything you are the greatest influencer ever you really are and with 250 plus million why would you not why would you not you do it that way so that it's the appearance of the girlfriend you know what you're doing one or two things out here in these streets and that would have been appealing also you cannot only and always talk about yourself because then you appear tone deaf so when there are topics that are hard topics give your opinion i support I stand by women. I do this and the third. Then you get fresh engagement. It's only my humble advice. I live for you. I love you. Take the time off. Go on holiday with the twins. If you and Ben doesn't work out, then Ben is occupying yet again your future husband's seat. Try and try and try again. Never give up. We are only in our 50s. We're living longer. So as far as I'm concerned, what? Que sera, sera. My darlings, don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings. And I will see you what? I will see you sooner than later. All of my love. Mwah. <laughs>
and let me know if you agree or disagree. It is what it is. Mm -hmm.